With so much focus on COVID-19, very little has been reported about the flu this season. Locally, doctors are seeing an unusually low number of influenza cases this year, a trend that's reflected nationwide. Fox 46's Rochelle Metzger has more from doctors who say don't let your guard down. With the public spotlight on the coronavirus pandemic, it may be easy to forget that we're at the height of flu season. We just really have not seen hardly any flu at all. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, seasonal influenza activity in the United States is lower than usual for this time of year. <laughs> A trend doctors are seeing in the Charlotte area. The incidence is just incredibly low in our practice and, and all around the city. We're seeing very, very little influenza on the order of a handful of hospitalized cases. This CDC map shows flu activity nationwide. The shades of green mean low to minimal. Now compared to this CDC map from the same week last year, red and purple states had high to very high flu activity. Respiratory viruses all spread kind of the same way through close contact with respiratory droplets. So I think we're seeing the impact of the preventive measures for COVID spilling over into flu. And then of course, a lot of flu spreads through school and kids. And so a lot of kids are not in school and so they're not spreading those germs. The CDC reports only one influenza related pediatric death this flu season. Last year, there were 195. Dr. Genevieve Browning with Novant Health says when patients come in with high fevers and body Body aches, they're tested for both COVID and flu. We do still test for flu in, in cases that just really look like they could be flu. We just really aren't getting the positives back. <coughs> Dr. Browning says we're not out of the woods yet. There could be a resurgence of flu or it actually coming into the area and the numbers going up. Doctors say if the pandemic has taught us anything, it's the health benefits of following the three W's. I do wonder in the future, if masking, at least during flu season, may become a more common thing. We can make a huge impact on every, every infection and every virus. In Charlotte, Rochelle Metzger, Fox 46.